So let's have a look at this guys. Importing PSD layers that have smart objects in them. Now you've all heard of the PSD that Photoshop makes and they have smart objects in them. Well in Affinity Photo they're known as embedded documents and they're so easy to lose, use. Let me give you an example. Let's open a file here. Import from the cloud. Now here's a whole raft of examples. Let's find number one. There we go, the cover. Let's import the cover. That's a PSD file put together by Adobe Photoshop. And this is something I'm working on at the moment. Now let's have a look in here. You'll notice that the photo and logo and the text is all text shapes. Now before I go any further with this, I need to just duck out of that for a moment. It's the first one there. If you want to import material from a PSD file, then you have to have these ticked. This is in your help section in Affinity Photo in the setup or preferences if you like. Now you can see there automatically update help is turned on. Yes, well, if there's any help additions, we want them. Automatically lock background layer on import. That's very handy. Um, I prefer it on. You may prefer it off, but it's very handy to have it on. Now, this is the important one. Import PSD text as text. If you don't have that turned on and you import a PSD file, any text that's in it will be a pixel layer and you can't alter it. Very frustrating and a damn nuisance. Remember to leave that turned on. And the other one, import PSD smart objects where possible. That's the other important one because people with Photoshop really like to put smart objects in there and PSDs save their text as pixel layers if you, well, if you don't import PSD text as pixel layers. So, refine HEIC depth maps. Yeah, yeah, leave that one on. Show tutorials and samples. Well, I like to have that on so something comes up when I first start it up. And dither gradients. Yes, you want that on. So when that's all done, um, you can ignore the rest of the stuff on there. The two important ones are the PSD ones. Make sure they're on. Now let's go back to this because the, what that allows you to do, see down the bottom there, the little grey square, it has Jonathan Doe. Let's have a look at that. That's in here. Photo and logo. Ah, oh, shapes and colours. And you think, what have we got here? But see, they're embedded documents. Now, how do we pick out the one that we want there? Go to the Move tool. And select that, select that. Why is that not selecting that? Let me find out. And there they are there. Ha ha. They're not where you thought they were. There's logo one. And you can see it's just popped up. And there's the logo on the other page just popped up. So don't be put off by the fact or don't be bamboozled. The layers are named photo and logo. But the logo is an embedded document. You can see that. Jonathan Doe is an ordinary text layer. That's that one there. It's just under that one over there. So let's do this one first. Now, what you do with an embedded document, and this is what I want to show you, double tap on that little icon, brings up a big picture like that. Let's reduce it a little bit so we can see it. Now, I want to put my own image in there. So it says delete this layer. Mm, I just prefer to turn them off. Leave it on. You can see you turn them off and turn them on. Now what I will do is place a document. Place from photos. Now I've got lots of photos here. And that's the one I want to put in there. It's just a logo. It's actually a camera shutter, supposedly. And you think, okay, now how do I get out of that? I don't want the grey background. Turn that off. There you go. 
I don't really need place your transparent blah 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 there. Turn that off. Now that won't export, but it's there to remind you. Don't delete the layer altogether. If you're that short of memory, hmm, go get yourself a system that's got plenty of memory. And you think, oh my god, how do I get back to my document? Easy. See in the top left hand corner you've got the left hand arrow. Now I'm on an iPad here, obviously. In the left hand arrow you just exit that document. And there it is there. See the little logo down there? Easy. Now let's do the other one. That's that one there. Double tap the word, the logo icon, not the text, it won't work. Double tap the logo icon in that embedded document. Double tap. There it is. Reduce it in size so you can see what you're doing. Now, I want to place a document in here from the photos. Well, uh, this time let's do something else. There we go. Bad design is not an option. That sits there. Drag and drop. Boink. There we go. Now, turn off the grey background. Turn off the text marker. We don't need that in there. Just leave that there. And back to the document. Select that. And you've got Jonathan Doe, and you've got an icon on the left hand, two different icons. Don't worry about the fact that you won't see it over here. You won't see it over there because it's an embedded document. See that there? Let's have a look. Let's go back, exit that. You can see in the document call it up, there they are there, and there they are there, the little grey things are gone, because the iPad needs to be sort of reloaded if you like, and it has a cache in there, so it clears the cache and puts your new parts in there, so don't panic if you see the grey or whatever was there originally after you've changed it. That's all right, just exit the document, come back in, and there's your proper icons in the proper place. Too easy. And of course, text. Let's have a look at the next line, Jonathan Doe. Where will we find that? Let's put the move tool on. It's over there. Selected, and you can see that. Let's... I'm trying to grab hold of that. I've missed the J, but it's Source Sans Pro. That's a font that I've already loaded into my system. Let's try it from this end. Hold it on. And in there I can now type J -R -R -Y -M -C -G -O -V -E -R -N. Harry McGovern. Why am I putting Harry McGovern there? Because that's the name of a character in a book I'm writing. Spy thriller. Harry McGovern. Very adventurous. I could have put Jack Vicious. That's another character in another book I'm writing. Pulp Fiction. But that's all there is to it, folks. See that there? Embedded document. You can put what you like in there. Double tap. There it is. Place the document you want. That one there, drag it out, shape it to size, and there it is, you can see peeping through that one, because it's underneath it. So let's turn that one off, and there we go. How do we get out of that? Remember, left arrow key, back to your document, and there it is. The logos, the icon's still there, that's because we haven't done this, and then come back into it. Give it a moment to reload all its stuff. And there it is. The right icon is in there. How's that? Pretty cool. Okay guys, thanks for watching this tiny little how to do it.